tell me first just about the moment when you realized after your dad was caught and you realized, oh my God, my father is a serial killer. Right, it was my freshman year in high school. I was only 15 years old and the news had broke um, in the media. I had no idea, I mean, it was just shocking. My mom had called me in from, um, in from the upstairs area of our house and, and called us in for a meeting and she relayed the news. And the next day I had to go to school, like everything was normal, but it, it mm. wasn't normal. No. Everybody else knew, you know, they had watched the news too. So they knew uh, it was your father. It they was knew. just, yeah. You say yeah. it was shocking, but I read in, in parts of your mm -hmm. book, you talk about how your father had dark mm -hmm. tendencies. Tell me what he would hang right. from the clothesline. Right. Um, he would hang our, well, my pets. Um, for instance, it was in one case, it was some kittens that I had found in the cellar um, that I was pretending. I was just a little girl. I was six years old and I had found them and I was playing house with them and I was pretending I was the mom and I had taken the, the little kittens outside and my dad had, had um, hung them on the clothesline and was torturing them. And uh, that that was one really dark and, and horrible day for me. That is something you remember for the rest of your life. And here you are as right. a grown woman, you're a mother, and, and yeah. you know, looking back though, before we get to, to current day really, your father, uh, you know, sent, sent letters with his own sort of signature, sort of like this Zodiac killer did, correct? Correct. It was a smiley face that he would uh, put on the stalls of bathrooms at truck stops, and he would also send it to reporters, to the Oregonian. Um, he would just put it wherever, he would leave it at his mark, wherever he could to taunt the police.